Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Stella Sessi Agli, and I'm doing this presentation with Joy Ejipon. So um, the Wiki for Inclusion project started um, two years ago under the flagship of another project called Wiki for SDGs, which targets um, human rights, climate, and then inclusion. So that was what we started two years ago. Um, that's by way of introducing the project. And this project um, is to, ta um, the target is for those who have disabilities, because we re realize that we are not doing too much or we're not doing enough for those who have disabilities to be able to contribute also. It's just about us, but we haven't really explored to look at those who have other forms of disabilities to be able to also um, contribute and also to be, to be more of good consumers of the project as well. Please, next slide. So this is our agenda. So I've just done the brief introduction. So we'll talk about the purpose of Wiki for Inclusion, the mission goal, involvement, importance of the project, the journey so far, video of a signer, what you need to know to replicate, um, video shooting formats, appearance of the sign language translator, video editing softwares that you can use, how to upload, and then references, and then we go to the Q&A. So next slide. So um, we took this quote from Oscar Alik Ice. It says, inclusive and sustainable economic growth can drive progress and generate the means to in implement the sustainable development goals. So like I said, this was part of our agenda in working on SDGs. Next slide, please. Good. So the purpose of the Wiki for Inclusion project, um, like I said, it's a collaborative project which is aimed at um, inclusivity, be able to add those who, who have some form of disability to be able to also contribute to Wikipedia and its sister project. And in this case, our focus is mainly on those with hearing impairment. And then so it serves as a platform to create and share um, content in an, an inclusive manner, allowing diverse communities, that's communities of those who have any form of disability to participate in generating and sharing to the sum of all human knowledge. Next slide, please. Thank you. So um, this, um, we're just talking about, this brief, briefly talks about what hearing impairment is. And um, so it's a condition which an individual's ability to hear sounds to varying degrees is reduced or compromised. And then hearing impairments can result to difficulties with communication, as we know, which can affect relationship in um, relationships, education, and employment opportunities. So this is this was a way to also help them see how they could explore online on opportunities that they could use when it comes to both educational resources and employment. So this is a statistics on hearing impairments, and we also looked at um, that of Ghana. What is prevalence in Ghana as to the number of people who have some form of hearing impairments in the country? Next slide. So our mission, as we said earlier, so Wiki for Inclusion is to empower people with special needs and then include this um, and like, like I said, for for this particular project, for those who have hearing impairments by providing open access knowledge to them and promoting digital inclusion and fostering an environment of collaboration. So where, in this case, we're using universities, we're using secondary schools, students that have um, some form of impairments to be able to also, you know, contribute to Wikipedia. And then to create, so our goal here is to what to increase awareness and understanding of the challenges faced by those with special needs, so that when you're having, um, if you're trying to include them into your project, you you have to understand these are their needs and how to go about it, and how to be able to include them when you are having your project, and to create um, a rich and device knowledge repository, which is accessible to all, including those with special needs. And also to encourage active participation. For me, that is very key, to encourage active participation and contribution from those who have special needs um, in shaping content on Wikipedia, and also to promote the use of open knowledge and um, you know, its principles to break down barriers between us and those who have hearing impairments. So briefly, I'm going to tell you, a very brief story. I went to the hospital some time back and I met a guy who he's um, hearing impaired. Now, this is a case where on that fateful day, the nurse who could actually sign wasn't present. So it means that this young man had to go 
and look for a sign language translator to come and assist him to translate what he was trying to say to the nurse or to um, the records officers to be able to give him his file and to also to be able to speak to the doctor. And now, in this case, if he goes for a translator, every hour he spends at the hospital, he's being charged for it. To be able to have access to healthcare. So what if we have some of this content that are easily accessible online that he can easily go and just say, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what my condition is on Wikipedia. And he shows it to the doctor. The doctor is able to understand this is what he needs without the use of a nurse, without the use of a nurse translator or anybody around who can sign. So this is also part of the reasons why this is also very for me, it's very important to me. And for somebody whose younger sister also has cerebral palsy and cannot you know, speak, this is important to me because how would she also be able to communicate to the rest of the world while she's growing up? So this is a very special um, project for me. Next slide, please. So um, we involved um, a number of sign language interpreters. Luckily, we have very... We, we were fortunate to have very good sign language interpreters um, who volunteered to assist. Um, we also had the, um, the collaboration of the Ghana National Association of the Deaf and then the University of Education, Winneba, that's the special education unit, um, who have shown very uh, you know, interest in this because they want to be able to see how that people are also able to get involved, be able to learn more online, be able to also contribute online as well. And then we have... Um, and our team from the Wiki R initiatives. So I think I'll leave this to Joy to continue. Mm -hmm. Two minutes, yeah. All right, so the importance of the project basically to um, assist with accessibility, empowerment, inclusivity, awareness, and community, unfortunately, because of the time. <laughs> so um, in a nutshell, what I would say is that um, we can Wikipedia is a very powerful tool or powerful um, uh, platform that people can use. However, in our goal to make it accessible to everybody, then it means that everyone really needs to be involved, be it anyone who has any physical challenge or disability. So that's basically why this project um, came about, just to be able to have them to have access to certain information that they are lacking, et cetera, and provide various tools that they can use. Next slide. So the journey so far has been two years, amazing two years, and very stressful two years. <laughs> and um, if you have participated in such a campaign before, or you have had someone who has a special need who is in a room with you when you are training Wikipedia, you realize that you have to do more than five times what you do to someone who already has like good physical appearance, no issues with disability, etc. So um, if we're supposed to take you about two hours to have a training, it will take you like five hours, irrespective of having a sign interpreter over there. So um, the journey has been great. We've had a lot of um, participation based on the partnerships we have had and the individual's desire to be part of the project. It will amaze you that as we were, we were teaching them, um, some of the students who have these disability issues would tell the interpreter to tell us that I know about X, Y, Z about Wikipedia. However, I want to know more about this. And they asked so many questions. So that alone spiked up the interest to continue what we were doing. So this is a video. So before this video, um, I was saying that because um, Looking at the challenges that we encountered, we realized that it's important to. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so basically, the video is about the science interpreter teaching um, people how to create an article. So, if you know, it's. Okay, so if it's, you know, like um, create an account or log in, do this, that's what the sign interpreter is doing so that um, it reduces the time that we exert during the physical training. So instead of teaching them all these things, they will watch the video beforehand, get equipped and all that before they come. So this project, um, as I was having conversations with some people in Nigeria, based on experience, it's very, very difficult. So it requires a lot of planning, a lot of strategy, a lot of, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Collaborations as well to be able to execute it. And also 
since it's a special campaign, it requires also special attention. And um, the way the sign, um, the people with disabilities sign and also how they use the alphabet is quite different from the English language. So it requires a lot and, um, but we are not stopping. So <laughs> let me touch up on this quickly. So if you want to replicate it, <laughs> you want to replicate it, the basics that you should know is good. Have a good conversation. Let's have conversations. If you have any ideas, let's do this together because every community everywhere, just as we want to replicate the community of Wikipedia or have everyone involved, can definitely have some of these unfortunate people there who need your support, who want to be involved. But how do they do that if you do not involve them or you only have specific projects and that is it? So our main desire to have access for everybody. And when you're shooting the video, you should ensure compatibility just as we do on um, commons, because then those who are going to watch the video should have that clear. It should be visible, the size and everything. Appearance of the sign language interpreter or translator should also not conflict with the color of the background. Um, your dress shouldn't be colorful. Your dress should not be black. The interpreter should focus on the camera and then use a plain background. And you should take his time too. So these are various tools that you can also use if you want to go into the video aspect. But if you want to go into the audio aspect, there are other platforms that you can use. So basically, that is it. And this is a um, group of the uh, participants from the association, the sign interpreter, and then some students from the University of Education, Winneba. Thank you. I'm very, I obviously have no idea about sign language and things, but I was under the impression that each country has a slightly different sign language. Yes, yes. Uh, so, so therefore it's not your, your videos are not necessarily, and, and I'm not, it's not a bad thing. I'm saying they have to be then recreated with each language sign. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just being fair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I agree and appreciate everything you said, but I want to ask, I may be stupid, but does the literacy in a, in a country belong to inclusion of Wikimedia? You know, literacy, Rate of a country. The literacy rates yeah. of the country. Yeah. Um, um, is, is it is it okay if Wikimedia or Wiki, uh, would clear what is the literacy or language policy of a certain country? Because this is the most important thing in inclusion, I think, in in, in many countries. What do you think? Well, or or Wikimedia organizations should should they uh, chart or 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 cover different uh, language policies in in different countries? What is the language policy? Because that is part of Wikimedia and Wikipedia and and, and many things. Literacy is the most. Uh, urgent problem, I suppose, in in many African countries and many other parts of the world. I think it's also very expensive. Yes. No European countries could afford large amounts of population having illiterate. Yes. And yes. was it? What does it mean if there are illiterate people? See, it means many things in in many countries. But well, I know I don't want to discuss about it anymore. But uh, yes. just question. <laughs> Yeah. No, you you are right. So like I said, um, it's actually like a pilot thing that we started and we are taking notes of all the challenges and all the issues at hand so that we can 
communicate effectively with the right team in the Wikimedia Foundation to assist because apart from those um, having the hearing impaired challenges, there are people who are also blind who need a special kind of tool to be part. And regarding the literacy, um, we actually did it with people who are already advanced. So like the university students, et cetera, and secondary school. Um, however, with the, those who are illiterate, I think that is also a very good point. That is why we are having this lightning talk to, to note down everything you have shared and then re-strategize and see where we can assist with that because it's very important because if we want to have everybody included, both literate and illiterate need to be part of it and need to be supported. So yeah, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, thank you.